No more water loading. I got the sweet sweat on. I'm about to put the layers on. I'm going to get to sweating. Yeah, Thursday of weight cutting day. Definitely the hardest day of training camp. It's pretty much the final part of this whole process. It's definitely the worst, hardest day. It's pretty much going from like, cutting out all the water weight that he has in his body. It's stressful and uh, it's just every fighter has to get through it. Definitely the hardest day, but he's a professional and he, we've done this a bunch of times before, so I think it's gonna be a good cut. So yeah, when, when, when we cut weight, we usually do what's called water loading, where for the last couple of weeks, he's drank a lot of water, at least a gallon, a gallon and a half every single day, even more sometimes. And what it does is it gets your body prepared to basically, it, it gets it used to putting a lot of water in, a lot of water out, and you're basically just peeing it out the whole time. And then when he goes to cut weight, he stops filling his body up with water. His body doesn't realize it until it's too late, and then he pretty much depletes himself of all that water. We try to do it right before the official weight cut, or the official weigh-ins. And then once he gets that weight off, he makes the weight and then he can refuel and hopefully doesn't do too much damage to his body. Pretty close to on weight. I wanna say I'm like 159. So I'm just chilling all night. I got some pineapple that I get to eat tonight and I'm just enjoying watching Rudy, one of my favorite movies. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. It's an inspiring story of a young man against all the odds chasing his dreams. Reminds me of myself. <laughs> they used to say, Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. Fibola is also, I think he's ahead. All right, we will stay in the lightweight division as we welcome our next fighter, the steamroller, Matt Frivola. One fifty four point eight, the official weight for Matt Frivola. Go steamroll up. All right, next fighter to the scale is his opponent in that lightweight division, back for the first time in a long time, Otman Azaitor. One fifty-five point six. The official weight for Otman Azaitor. <laughs> Uh, my yeah, body's like, I can feel my body like working to like come back to life. Like working, like processing all the hydration and processing the little bit of food I've been eating. My body's coming back to life. Got some toast, we got some potatoes and a little turkey bacon. All American breakfast, baby, for an all American fighter. Why didn't they so toasty? This one's for Marav, you know. Cheers for family, cheers for friends. Cheers for Matt for Bola. Just go out there and dominate. And go out there and dominate. Thank you guys all. It was a great, great fight week. Great cut. Great cut, great fight week. Now we get to handle business tomorrow. I'm ready to go. Look at that Let's guy. Go. Time to eat, baby. Time to eat. We got white wifey here. The truffle fries. The hard part's <laughs> over, baby. We're gonna have a last supper, and then tomorrow we're gonna get after it. The only Look. way we know how, man. Show the drip. All steam. Show me the drip. <laughs> yes, I. Let's bring this W home. Yeah. All right, guys. Steve. Here. Cheers. 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 Hard work pays off.
How we feel? So good. Like a champion. Uh, it's you appreciate everything so much. Like from being so dehydrated and not eating anything to like being able to eat everything. It's like I'm just as happy after I beat this guy's ass. One, two, three. Zero. Me and Matt Frivola met uh, in 2010. We actually came to Gracie Tampa South the same week. So we basically started at the same exact time. We both were aspiring fighters and we both had this dream to, to get into the UFC, essentially. started training together in 2010, we trained together for years. A year after meeting each other, we became good friends right away. We actually lived together for a year. Uh, we called it the animal house where we would just eat, sleep, train, uh, party a little bit. And uh, that led to us being very competitive with each other and both pushing each other to the point where we both kind of stuck out from everyone else at the gym and we both ended up getting in the UFC. Time to throw down. I'm ready, 100%, no easy way out, no shortcuts home, just one thing left to do, I just gotta go and fight this guy. It's what we do best, three fives if the guy's worthy enough. Time for the fun stuff. Yeah, we're, uh, we're getting ready to head to the arena. Um, we had an amazing shakeout uh, this morning. Matty looked amazing, so confident right now. He's ready to uh, just fucking go it go in tonight and uh do what he does man steamroll so check back after the fight we're all gonna be real happy we're gonna be celebrating let's go steam yeah we're heading over to uh, madison square garden this is what it's all about these are fights that we dreamed about you know coming coming up through the rankings fighting for free fighting you know losing money fighting and to work his way up to the ufc he fought at msg once had a draw which we all thought he really won and now he gets to go get that redemption, go get that win there tonight. We're all super excited and uh, I know he can't wait to go put on a show. You know, first it was just get the UFC, then it's winning fights in the UFC. Now it's climbing to the top, getting in the top 15. Uh, so this fight is gonna be what I think is gonna be a huge moment for him, winning a fight in his hometown in New York City, go out there and get a huge win and then he's gonna be on the map with a lot of casual fans. Let's go, I'm ready to go. All right, so DC had something to say. He said Otman was off his game, but in my opinion, Matt was a far superior fighter in the show tonight. Let's go, baby. Steamroll up. Big win. How do we feel? I feel great, man. We got it done. You know, all the hard work. We put in a great camp. Went in there and got uh, and got it done, you know. Mission accomplished. It didn't go how, as I thought it was gonna go, you know. I was ready for a three-round war. I was ready to wrestle him, take him down, you know, grind it out. Um, but uh, you know, I just had to get my mitts on him, land a couple shots, and uh, knock him out. <laughs>
After every fight, no matter what, I come home to the Cinelli's. So the nice Cinelli's pie. Oh, oh yeah. We got a chicken roll. That's a super chicken roll. Let's go. Yes, let's go. I'm going pepperoni. Victory, victory pizza, Cinelli's. Now I got my specialty vodka grandma slice with some chicken cutlets on there. That's a steamroller pie. Yeah, the steamroller pie. I get one of them, but stay behind the bed. I always think about all camps, like walking into a 7-Eleven after a fight and being like, I can eat anything here. Like, I could, I could eat this. I could just say, fuck it, I could get a, a Tokido. No, without being like, without being like, oh shit, you know, what? How many calories? Only 170 calories. All right. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Um, <laughs> butter M and M's. Do you want something else sweet? I want ice cream. I had a I had a dream about ice cold ginger ale during my weight cut. But it was like a cup with ice and like pouring the, the ice cold ginger ale and just like shh, the carbonation during, during my weight cut. <laughs> no, Corey did. Corey came home last night and brought them for us this morning. Oh. <laughs> Nothing like a good old bacon, egg, and cheese. Get down.